I believe every word you say, and I receive all your promises. I won't be moved by what I see. I'll keep my eyes on what you show me. It's bigger, bigger. Come on. I believe. I believe every word you say. Every word you say. And I receive. I receive. All your promises, all your promises, and I won't be moved. I won't be moved by what I see. I'll keep my I'll eyes, keep my on, eyes on, on what you show me. It's bigger, bigger, bigger. More than that, more than that, more 
than that. Come on, y'all help. More than that. Exceedingly. Exceedingly. Abundantly. Abundantly. Above all that. Above all that. that even as the last of things. Gonna be more than that. More. More than that. More. More than that. More. More than that. Exceedingly. Exceedingly. Abundantly. Abundantly. Yeah. 
be bigger. Let's clap those hands before the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe it's going to be bigger. I believe it's going to be better. Bigger and better than ever before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We bless you and we exalt your holy name. El Shaddai, Elohim, Adonai. The God that was, he is, and he is to come. Unchangeable God. He was, he is, and he is to come. The first and the last. The beginning and the end. The Alpha and the Omega. You are able to do bigger, better. We thank you. We bless you for your awesomeness. We thank you for your greatness. We thank you. We bless you. We, are, we know you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask, according to the power that you have invested in us. We thank you. We bless you. We are expectant for bigger. We are expectant for greater. We are expectant for mightier. You are able. You are able. He is able. He's going to do it. He has done it before. He can do it again. Um, the mutability of God, he changes not. He's going to do it. In Jesus' name. Come on, somebody give God praise and glory. Come on, somebody bless his holy name. Father, we thank you. My God, we bless you. Bigger, I like that. Thank you. All of gladness, I love that. Bigger, better, in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. My Jacob, pass it. Yeah. This song is for somebody. There's someone here expecting something, some miracle in the month of May. Who is that? Strong in the month of May. Amen. Amen. God's going to do it. God is 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 going to do it. He's working it out. He's going to do it. I say, yes, he's going to do it. I say, yes, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. I hear it. I hear it. God said, I'm going to do it. In the month of May. I'm going to do it. In the month of May. I'm going to do it. He's going to do it. He's able to do it. He's working it out. He's orchestrating some things. He's changing some things. He's planting some things. He's going to do it in Jesus' name. If you believe, shout it loud. Amen. Shout it loud. Amen. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's putting it together. He's putting it together. He's putting it together. Yes. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. And I like that. I say, I believe, right? Do you believe it? You shall have it. Amen. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Believe it. And that settles it. It is done. 
quick, let's go to Nehemiah. We've been teaching, I've been teaching on Nehemiah. Nehemiah, last week I started with Nehemiah 4, 6 tonight. Today I'm going to do Nehemiah 4, same 4, 10 to 14. I will continue the series that I started. The power of a dedicated life. Of a dedicated life. Also, I greet and welcome our first time guests. We welcome you all into this house. The lady from the event and uh, sister from Nigeria and others, we greet you in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. The power of a dedicated life. Remember last week, we learned that uh, they were building the wall, and they built the wall up to the half of its height. It was a project that Nehemiah started with the children of Israel because of the wall that was collapsed. And then he went back, he was in Babylon, then he went back home to Israel to start that project. And the project was to build the falling wall. Uh, the enemy don't want them to build it uh, because the enemy is a chance for the enemy to invade the nation. So he went to begin to build the wall. It was a project. Then he built it up to the half of his height. Then Every hell broke loose. I don't know if you are in that situation or you've been there before. That you are doing a project. You have an assignment. You started well. Even though there's a lot of outside noise. We talked about that last week. Outside noise. We need to learn how to tune off the outside noise. That wants to discourage you from doing the good work that the Lord has called you to do. But they built it up to the half of his height, and every hell broke loose. Even their enemies increases. But I like what Nehemiah did. Nehemiah was a dedicated life. A dedicated life does not give up. Regardless of what you see. Regardless of what you have happening. Because there's some things that you don't see. There's another realm. There are two realms. The realm of the natural. And the realm of the supernatural. The realm of the natural we can access it by our eyes to see. But the realm of the supernatural, you cannot access it by your eyes. You can only access it. Are you hearing me? You can only, there are three ways you can access it. One of the ways is by faith. In other words, continue to move forward. Hallelujah. And the second way to access it is the anointing. Because the anointing breaks the yoke. Am I talking to somebody today? And the third way is the glory of the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying today? When you have the faith. Hallelujah. Oh God. Because the faith. Faith is a currency of the kingdom of God. Regardless what you see. Regardless who are talking about you. You will continue to match on. Because faith said you are more than conqueror. Faith said you are on Stop it, boy. Am I talking to somebody? This oh my God. Every hell broke loose. A dedicated life, regardless of the sea, they will focus on the assignment. Hallelujah. A dedicated life, know how to tune off 
Every noises of the enemy. Every noises of discouragement. Every noises of hopelessness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And focus on the goal. And continue to do the work. So let's go to verse 10. Every hell broke loose. Then Judah said, The strength of the laborers is failing. <laughs> then Judah said, The strength of the laborers is failing. There are 12 children of Israel. Is that correct? How come it's only Judah? The Bible says, and the, the Judah, Judah, the tribe of Judah. There are 12 tribe of Israel. We have Levite. We have Reuben. We have others. We have Joseph. We have Napathali. And we have more. But the Bible said. Judah. Why Judah? Why Judah? Said. Are you hear what I'm saying? Only one tribe. Said. Their strength. Of the laborers. Are failing. And there's so much rubbish. That we are not able to build the wall. In the beginning they have strength. In the beginning they were building the wall. Even though the enemy was coming against them. The work was done. But Reuben didn't say we are not able. Levi didn't say we are not able. But Judah. Do you know why? I have to touch this before I move forward. When you are doing a project, number one, be careful who you have as a partner. When you are doing a project, be careful who you are associating yourself with or who you are talking to. When you read the story, continue to read this book, you will find out that the Judah tribe, they live closer to the enemy. So the enemy was using them as a carrier of bad news. So they're very close to their enemy. They bother the enemy. I said to myself, because you bother the enemy, that doesn't mean you should listen to the enemy. They were listening to the enemy and they believe what the enemy is saying. Fear is the opposite of faith. They were listening. Your strength is not in your mind. Your strength is in your mind. Listen or listening so negative information will diminishes your faith. They were listening. They see what they say. They became the lost strength. He said the strength of the laborers is failing. And there is so much rubbish that we are not able to build the wall. And our adversary said. They neither nor see anything till we come into their midst and kill them. And because they want the work to cease. So it was when the Jews who dwell near them came to us. The Jews that dwell to the enemy. Next door to the enemy. They were listening to the enemy. And they believed what the enemy was saying. And they carried the bad news into the camp. 
the first thing that happened, it affected them because they became discouraged. They became discouraged because what they were listening to. I get, I get. But they were believing the word of the enemy. If the devil said, I can't do it, I would declare it 77 times that I can do it. And I'm going to tell the enemy, watch me, I am doing it. Are you hearing me? Then Nehemiah said, so it was. When the Jews would dwell near them came. They said, they told us, how many times? Ten times. Ten times. From whatever place you turn, they will be upon us. We're going to stop there. Right there, there are four factors that lead to discouragement. We need to be very careful who is speaking to us, who is encouraging us. Do you have a mentor to guide you to do what you are called to do? Because I believe I can do all things through Christ who set it us. There are four factors that I see here that led to discouragement. Number one, fatigue. Fatigue came in. He said the strength of the laborers is what? It's failing. In other words, they are tired. They can't continue the work anymore. How many feel like that sometimes? How many feel like that in life? Like, man, I'm just tired of everything. I don't feel I can continue anymore. I tell you, it's the time to go back to the drawing board. You don't get that. So one was fatigue. He said, we are not able to build anymore. Because listening to negativity strips you of your faith. Diminishes your faith. Because your strength is not in your mind. Your strength is in your mind. So number one was fatigue. They were tired. Negative information take away strength. Number two, frustration. We'll give you this before we continue to teach. Leads, frustration leads to discouragement. Also fatigue led to discouragement. What was the reason for fatigue? It's two factors. Number one, who they were listening to. It weakens them. It discourages them. Number two, rubbish. There's so much rubbish on the ground. They didn't clear the rubbish before they begin to build. If you want to build, the first thing you do, especially rebuild. If you want to rebuild, the first thing you do is to clear the rubbish that is on the ground. If you don't do that, Fatigue will come and frustration will come. Yesterday, in the marriage and single seminar, I said, if somebody has a deep spiritual and inner healing, take care of that first before you consider marriage. How many got that? Spiritual issues, deep spiritual issues, and also spiritual issue and inner healing. When we talk about inner healing, it's not so we only think our heart actually it affects our soul. So we need to take care of our soul first before you consider marriage. Why? Because it will be ignorant of you to think when you get married, you don't bring yourself or bring who you used to be into that relationship. But for them, what should have done the previous war, they should have cleared the war. Amen. 
How many want to rebuild their life? How many want to change things around in their life? Amen. The first thing we do, why are we in this state? How do we get to this state? We need to find that reason and we're going to fix it. And after we fix it, then we can rebuild. Can I hear amen? So number one was fatigue. Number two was frustration. Number three was failure. The people that started well, they said they're going to build. But now they said, we were not able. We are not able to build. And number four is fear. They said the enemy, their enemy said they are coming to kill them. And they believe that. The enemy is a liar. I said the devil is a liar. Don't believe what he's telling you. Whose report are we going to believe? We're going to believe the report of the Lord. Everything that the enemy is telling you, trash it. Throw it away. Don't believe it. Believe the report of the Lord. When you believe the report of the Lord, your faith will increase. Is somebody here with me? Now, this is my point here, and we we'll go get to the message. The power of dedicated life. From then, Nehemiah, after all of that, Nehemiah began to encourage. He said, from whatever place they turn, they will be upon them. So Nehemiah began to speak here. He said, therefore, therefore, a position man behind the lower part of the wall at the opening and assert the people according to their families. Assert the people according to their families with their swords and their spears and their bow and a look and I arose and said to the nobles, to the leaders, and to the rest of the people, do not be afraid of them. What Nehemiah did, he restructured himself. He changed the way to continue. If you get your back dead against the wall, that means you can't move forward. You have to change the way you do things. You got to change your structure. This man said, hey, we can't continue this way. If we continue this way, there is no progress. So we got to restructure. We got to change the way we need to do things. I'm talking to somebody. You got to increase your prayer life. You got to learn how to praise God at midday, in the morning, and in the evening, when the enemy comes. You can't continue the way you do things. Things got to change. It changes. It restructure. That's what we call the division of labor. It taught them how to fight the battle of life. This is my point here. The work did not stop. The work continued. A dedicated life does not stop the assignment. Regardless of the attack of the enemy. Regardless of what you are saying. What we need to do is to change the work, the way we do things. Now, let's talk a little bit. What is dedication? Dedication is full commitment. Full commitment to a cause. No matter what happens. It is to continue without losing hope. There are few factors or few elements of the power of dedication. Number one. Fix your eyes on your goal. Or fix your eyes on the assignment. 
Philippians 3, 13, 14, tell us. He said, brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended. But one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. I press towards the goal or the mark of the price of the upward calling. Paul is saying, I have a goal. I have motivation. Amen. I have inspiration. There's something I am pursuing. There's something that I'm going ahead. And that is the goal for the price of the upward calling. So number one, fix your eyes on, the, on your goals. What is your assignment? What are you called to do? I said last week, one of the enemy strategy of the end time is discouragement. He wants you to look focused on your goal. He wants you to look focused on God, on Christ. Amen. But say the devil is a liar. Say the devil is a liar. I will not lose focus. I will continue to run the race that is set before me regardless of what. Regardless of what I see. Regardless of what is going on. I'm moving forward. Backward never. Forward ever. I have a goal. I have a purpose. I will run the race with endurance. I have inspiration. There must be inspiration. I have inspiration. And there's a prize that I will receive at the end of my project. I'm running with endurance. Regardless of noises, regardless of what the enemy is saying, I will not stop. I will run with endurance. Somebody shout amen. Somebody shout amen. Also, Hebrews 12, 2. It says, look it unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. He started the race of faith, he finished it. Hallelujah. And he's seated at the right hand of the Father. The Bible said, for the joy that was set before him. There was a joy. There was a price. There was a reward that was set before him. I'm talking to you today. What is your price? What is the reward that you want to receive? Hallelujah. Jesus ran the race. Because there was inspiration. And every inspiration, there was a price. There was a goal. That Jesus was targeting. What is the goal? I will show you. Glory to God. He said, for by the joy that was set before him. He endured. The cross. For the joy. That was set. Before him. Let me tell you something. The way. To acquire endurance. Is to have. Goal. And reward ahead of you. See what the joy that was set before him. Endure the cross. Why did Jesus endure the cross? Cross was painful. To nail him. His hands on the, on, on the cross was painful. Put the tongue on his head was painful. Nail his feet was painful. We know why? Because there was a joy that was set before him. He had a reason. There's a purpose to endure. What is your purpose to endure? Is that a goal for you? Do you have a purpose? Do you have inspiration? Hallelujah. He endured the cross, despising the shame. And I sat down at the right hand of the Father. That is the price. That is the reward. He ran the race with endurance. So number one, fix your eyes on your goals. If you don't have a goal, you need to set one. The first one, on Christ. Number one, on Christ. Our goal should be to live for Christ. Amen. Glory to God. To live for Christ. 
to fix your eyes on your goal. What is your goal? Do you have a goal? If you don't have it, you need to set one. Number two, the power of a dedicated life is courage. Deuteronomy 31 6. Deuteronomy 31 6. He said, Be strong and of good courage. Courage is the ability to confront circumstance of life. Courage is the ability not to be afraid of anything. Courage is the ability to continue to move forward towards your goals without being afraid of anything. Because why? There will be challenge in the race of life. We have challenges. We have circumstances. We have difficulties. We know the enemy is trying to stop us. If you don't have courage, you will stop. But when you have courage, you will continue to run the race that is set before you. You will see before God, Give anyone an assignment, it will encourage you. Be a good share and be courageous. Do not be afraid of them because I am with you. And one of the reasons God said, I am with you, to know is that, to know you are not alone. God will run with us. Amen? Courage. Someone say courage. Courage. Courage is the ability to start an assignment as well. Most people are afraid to start. But when you have courage, you will start whatever assignment God has given you to start. So I'm talking to you today. Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid. Not be afraid of them. Amen. God is with you. I say God is with you. He will never leave you now forsake you. Our God is greater than the enemy. Our God is greater than every circumstances. In the name of Jesus, he has infused us with his anointing. He has infused us with his power. Ability to run the race uh, without being afraid of a man or a woman. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me give you a, a story in the Bible. Twelve spies were sent to Canaan. Who remember that? How many? Twelve were sent. Moses sent twelve. They came back. When they came back, they have two different reports. Ten out of the two, they have negative. They came back to the camp and they said, in the land of Canaan, remember they were going to possess the land. There's milk and honey in the land. There's riches in the land. There's fat in the land. Nice stuff is in the land. God promised them, go, uh, the land belongs to you. They went to spy. Then came back and said, in that land, everybody, everybody in the land, they are all giants. And I'm here to tell you, it's not true. They are giants in the land, but everybody are no giants. So they came back and told Moses, Man, hey, we can go there. Everybody in the land, they are giants. Everybody. We saw the giant. They were afraid of the giant. You know, a giant comes. We know that, right? We know the story of the giant. So the soldier said, Hey, we are not going. We are not able. Are you hearing me? We are not able to possess the land. Everybody is a giant. But Caleb and Joshua, they said, Yes, there are giants there. But our God. I say our God. I say our God. His name is Yahweh. His name is Jehovah. 
It is the I am that I am. It is the false and the lies. Unmovable God. Unshakable God. Mighty God. Awesome God. Are you hearing me? Joshua and Kayla say, yes, they have giants. They're bigger. They're big. But our God, our God, come on, somebody talk to me. Our God, our God, your God, our God, our God, our God, my God is bigger, greater, mightier, is unstoppable, unshakable, unmovable. That is the God that we serve. Somebody say, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Indeed, they were giants. The ten saw giant. They were afraid of the giant. They have no courage. They don't have relationship with God. You know the difference between the two groups? The ten had no relationship with God. The ten did not know God. They don't know how big is their God. They don't know how strong is their God. They have no relationship with God. But the two, the two, check, the two, Caleb, Caleb, and Joshua, they went back to Moses. Say it's true. That's a giant. They are very, very tall. But the God that we serve, the God that we serve, the God that we serve is bigger, bigger, bigger. Our God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above. Because it's bigger, it's powerful, it's mightier. Yeah! Yeah! Our God is big. Our God is awesome. There's nothing too hard for Him. Our God is mighty. You need courage. God will fight for you. God will stand with you. Hallelujah! Somebody say, yeah! Yeah, 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 you need to cultivate a closer relationship with God. For the Bible says, you didn't hear me? The Bible says, they that know their God. They, 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 they that know their God. They shall be strong. They shall be strong. And do. And do. Mighty explore. I'm talking to somebody that is a friend here. You need to cultivate a closer relationship with God. Our God is mighty. Our God is powerful. No one can stop him. He's the creator of the universe. He told Moses, I am yeah, yeah, but I am. In other words, there's nothing, there's no one greater than me. There's no one beside me. There's no one ahead of me. I am. He's telling you to be courageous. I am. Oh, I feel like preaching. I feel like preaching. I feel like preaching. I feel like preaching. Let's get it. The ten had no courage. They had no courage. You know why? No relationship with God. They don't know their God. They don't know how powerful is their God. But Joshua and Caleb, they saw the giant. And they saw their God defeating the giant. They saw it. They believe it. I'm telling you, your assignment, you need God as never before. Even in this end time, 
You need to cultivate closer relationship with God. I say with God. There's no one like him. He's a mighty God. He is the first and the last. He created everything for himself. Someone say yes. Come on, someone say yes. Caleb and Joshua were courageous. When you read the scripture, he said because they know God, they cultivate a closer relationship with God. Amen. They have the resume of God from Genesis to Revelation. And they realize God never leaves his people. So I tell you today, God is with you. You don't have to see him. He's right there with you. Be courageous. Don't be afraid. You are able. God has invested inside of you. Greater is he that is inside of you. Than he that is in, in, the, in the world. Courage. Somebody say courage. Come on, somebody courage. Come on, say courage. Say, I am strong and courageous. I will not be afraid. You know what David said? I will not be afraid. Even if they come against me. 10,000 might come against me. Even in this, I will be confident. Because I know that God is with me. I know that I have not alone. <laughs> Greater God cannot preach. Oh, Jesus. You said be strong. Man of good courage, do not fear, no, be afraid of them. Even though Nehemiah, when he was built, every hair broke loose, he was not afraid. Even he was encouraging the workers. He restructured everything, the way they do work. Amen. Hallelujah. Some say courage. Let's go to Joshua 1, 7. You see, every time God gave assignment, this was after the death of Moses, and Joshua was taking over. Look at the instruction that God, or the word of encouragement that God gave to Joshua. Joshua 1 7. Actually, when you read to the end, He gave him, He told him that about three times. Three times. He said, only, only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left that you may prosper whatever you go. God told him, even when you read in the beginning, God will tell him, be strong and of good courage. Let me ask you, church, why would God tell him Joshua that? Three times he told him, even though Joshua was with Moses, Joshua was learning from Moses. Joshua had relationship with God. It was him and Caleb. That said, ah, yes, they're giant, but our God, bigger. They saw God defeating the giant. God told them that one is good if you are an assistant to somebody. The responsibility is not on you. He was assisting Moses. Now Moses is gone. He has to take all the responsibility and he has to make decisions. So it's easy, very easy for fear to come to him. But God said, don't be afraid. Be very courageous. Courage is the ability to continue to do the work of the law. Regardless of the attack of the enemy, Regardless of circumstances of life, regardless the little that you have, are you hear them saying the ability to continue 
what you see or what you hear. Continue to move forward. Someone that's a dedicated life, you will see this in their life. They always focus on the assignment and they're very courageous. Regardless of the challenges, regardless of what is going on, regardless of what they are hearing. Amen. They continue to move forward regardless of the economy. Some folks are afraid of the economy. Amen. I'm not afraid. Amen. Did nobody say anything. Some people are afraid. They are afraid to move forward with their assignment. The economy is getting bad. Where am I going to get money? But I'm here to tell you my economy is not the economy of the universe. My economy is the economy of the kingdom of God. America is not my provider. Africa, the nation of Africa, is not my provider. Jamaica is not my provider. Are you hear what I'm saying? Ghana is not my provider. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My provider is Jehovah Jireh. His name is Jehovah Jireh. Everything that I own and have, it comes from him. America might be going through what they call a sanction. No, not sanction. Uh, session, recession. Uh, recession. I'm here to tell you, I'm not part of that. You are not part of that. If you believe it, you are part of that. If your economy is a kingdom economy, you are not part of that. God will provide for you miraculously. I say miraculously. God is your provider. God is your provider. President Biden is not my provider. Prime Minister of Jamaica is not our provider. President of Nigeria is not your provider. God is your provider. God will provide for you. God loves you. And he will provide. I won't stop no assignment. I'm moving forward. Because I'm connected to my provider. Can I tell you? Oh God, I feel this. Can I tell you a story? In the Bible? Isaac. Isaac. Remember Isaac? Isaac went to the Philistine. A foreign land. Because there was famine in this country. God didn't tell him to go to Egypt. God told him to go where? The Philistine. And in Philistine, there was famine in the land. You remember that story? There was famine in the land. At that time, Egypt was prospering. God didn't tell him to go there. God was trying to prove something to Isaac. That the nation of Egypt is not your provider. Your provider is me. I am the provider. And I have invested something inside of you. He told him to go where? The Philistine. He was in a time of famine. Go read your scripture. I believe Genesis 26. Go read that scripture. There was famine. Serious famine. Nothing. Everybody was struggling. Struggling there. And the Lord spoke to him in the land that you are in, in that country, saw a seed. He saw the seed. Most people do it for me. If you tell them, or <laughs> they'll sow a seed, they say, man, you're a false prophet. <laughs> I, don't, I only have a little bit. Tell me to sow it. Tell me I won't have nothing. See, I told you there are two realms. There's a realm of the natural. And there's a realm of the supernatural. The supernatural is the unseen. But the natural is the same. And the way to activate it, number one, is your faith. Number one is your faith. Are you hearing me? So he saw. And he began to do what? To read. And to read. And to read. In the time of famine. In the he began to read. The people of the nation didn't understand. How come there's famine? There's famine. And this guy is prospering. 
Something is wrong with this picture. It don't make sense to them. Guess what? You know what they did? Oh, you have to know this story. You know what they did? They thought that the land was the blessing to Isaac. So what they did, if they were smart and they were in the spirit, they're supposed to connect to Isaac and become Isaac's body. So Isaac can show them how he was prospering and why they were lacking. But what they did, they taught the land. They said, you've been blessed, you've been blessed in our land. So what they did, they kicked him out. They said, get out. They said to get out. What? They taught the land. Well, that is Isaac. What they didn't know? Isaac. Isaac. You know that name. You know what it means? Isaac means increase. Increase. That's all. Laughter. Sorry. It means laughter. It means laughter. Joseph means yeah, laughter. So while they were crying of famine, Isaac was laughing of prosperity. That's what I'm going. He was laughing. They were crying. He was laughing. So they tell us him, they kick him out. They kick him out. Come on, let me tell you. I know who is funny. We are laughing. If you see that God is blessing somebody, don't tell us against them. Connect with them. Be their friend. You want to learn the secret. How can you be blessed? And I'm not receiving anything. So he is my body. He is my body. I want him to teach me. So they kick him out. They talk. The land was the blessing. So he left. He went to another place. You know what he was doing? No, I don't have time. You know what he was doing? He was digging for water. He was digging. Oh, there's a revelation here. I have to give somebody. He was digging for water. So he was get water and sell it and do his animal, take care of the farm and everything. But they can't get water. But Isaac was getting water. And Isaac was being blessed. So they kicked him out. He went to a place, they kicked him out. He was being blessed. Even the Bible said, oh God, can I tell you this? The Bible said, he went to where his father, Abraham, first was digging and getting water. The Bible said, that well, there's no more water. That well is filled. Because there's no more water. But the moment, the moment, the moment, the moment, Isaac stepped his foot. You're not hearing me. You're not hearing me. I'm talking to somebody this morning. The moment he stepped on the ground where there's no water, his father Abraham got water from that place and that place is sealed. There's no more water because Isaac stepped on the land. On the land. There's what? There's what? Water begin to spring out. Water begin to come out because the land is not the blessing. God is in the blessing. And he had God inside of him. The moment he land in the land Water. So who is the blessing? I said. Because he had a relationship with God. He's connected to God. Even though there was no water. Ooh, I hear this. I hear this. I hear this. Somebody here. Need to command. Money. To come out from the rock. There's someone looking, tossing us on tongues. The same way Moses command what? Water. Can water come from the rock? Can, can water come from the rock? Normally, it's not supposed to. Who is the rock? Come on, somebody bless him. The rock of ages. Stop. 
I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I need to come one day and teach you supernatural. The water to come from the rock is supernatural. Jesus is the rock. Do you know that Jesus was in Genesis all the way to Revelation? Amen. It was Jesus that led them out of Egypt. He was in front and he was what? It's in Revelation. When Egyptians were coming, they were behind them. Guess what happened? It was there for them. The rock that was leading them went all the way in the back. Jesus was light for the Israelites. But it was darkness to the Egyptian. It was darkness. Are you hearing me? I'm going to stop. Number two, say courage. I got to get to number four. Say courage. Also, Philippians 128. Philippians 128, Amplified Classic. It says, and do not for a moment be frightened or intimidated. Anything by your opponents and adversary for such constancy, pay attention, for such constancy and fearlessness will be a clear sign, proof, and seal to them. No, you're missing me. You're missing me. You want to read it? And do not, for a moment, be frightened or intimidated in anything by your opponents. In other words, don't be afraid of your opponent. And don't let them know you are afraid. It's an advantage to them. It's an advantage to them. When they know you are afraid, they say, we got him. He's afraid of us. You see? In anything. By your opponents and adversary, for such constancy and fearlessness will be a clear sign, proof, and seal to them of their impediment, destruction, but a such token of an evidence for your deliverance and salvation. In other words, you don't be afraid. Don't let them know that you're afraid. You cannot be afraid. If you are not afraid, guess what? God will come and fight for you. But if you are afraid, God will not fight for you. And the enemy, what? They will win the battle. Courage is the key. Don't be afraid. Move forward. The power of dedicated life. Those that are dedicated are not afraid of anything. The enemy wants you to be afraid. But you don't be afraid. Be strong and be courageous. When they see that you are strong and courageous, it's a proof and a seal for them and a token of evidence that they, God will deliver you and they will be destroyed in Jesus' name. Number three, and I'm going to stop. I won't, I won't go too much on that. I love it. We'll continue from there next week. Number three. Readiness for sacrifices. Readiness. Because a dedicated life, they are ready to sacrifice. Sacrifice. The Lord told us to do a seven day, all night prayer. All night prayer. This week was a tough week. We have to seminar Saturday. He gave us confirmation on Saturday. We started Monday. I didn't even push it to next week or next month or next year. Readiness to sacrifice. I have to, I will continue next week. I will continue next week. Next week. The people that have dedicated their life, they are ready. To sacrifice, regardless of what, 
Amen. They want to sacrifice and do the work. I will show you Nehemiah. He sacrificed. Nehemiah was living well in Babylon. He was a cup bearer for the king. He was living in the palace. Are you hear what I'm saying? In, in those years, in those, the, those days, that was the greatest nation in the world. Imagine a cup bearer for the king. Even the king left over is a lot. The king left over. Amen. They don't cook. They have chefs that cook the food. Even the priest giving things to drink. He left that life and went back home. That was a sacrifice. Those enemies could have killed him. Those people could have taken him out. He's courageous. He's ready to sacrifice. Hallelujah. He left. He lost somebody from the West Indies working at the White House and living in the White House and serving the president. You know you are living good. It's living good. The food that they eat, they have chefs that prepare it. Whatever food the king don't finish, you finish it. It's living life. Are you hearing me? Then he left that and went back home. That is a big sacrifice. Anybody here from Africa living good? You have a five bedroom house? But your people in your village are going through. And you are willing to live that life and go in the village. Man, let me tell you something about the village. Village life. You live in America, you live in a nice house. You don't know nothing. There's no mosquito here. Go in the village. I'm serious. Those mosquitoes are very big. I'm very persistent. Let me tell you one time. Oh God, I have to finish. One time we went to Kenya. To Nakuru with Pastor Masha. You know? So we were sitting outside. And the mosquito, it's not even a village. It was a town in uh, Kenya. Nakuru. If you see the mosquito. The mosquito was so big. Pastor, the mosquito was big. But the thing is, the miracle, the mosquito, they will pass me. I went to pass my shot. <laughs> I'm serious. They will pass me. Oh, and those mosquitoes, you can hear sound. <laughs> 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 they will pass me. And they went to pass my shot. They will do it. They say, oh, honey, why? There's no mosquito. Then she didn't get it at first. Then they say, ah. They're not bothering you. They're bothering me. The mosquito. You know why? Why? They used to my blood. They don't want my blood. This is flesh blood from America. Last second. I'm serious. They will pass me. And they wait to after me. When they pass me, I can hear them. No, 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 no. But that, you get what I'm talking about? That's a sacrifice. He left that life and went to work to build the work for his people. Can you sacrifice like that? Can you sacrifice for the sake of the gospel? Can you sacrifice? That's because some of you are not taking to the village. Amen? I'm not taking it. We have project in um, again? Zimbabwe. I'll take you there. Madame, we don't go to the city first. <laughs> I'm serious. I'll take you there. Then we're going to go to the village. There's some people need Jesus in the bush. Can you sacrifice and go in the bush? Don't worry. The mosquito will pass me. They come with me. Come on, somebody give God praise. Come on, somebody give God praise. We're going to continue. I have so much to deliver. Readiness 
for sacrifices. How many of you are ready to sacrifice for the gospel? How many of you are ready to sacrifice for the call of God over your life? Or how many of you are ready to sacrifice for your children? That's what we do, parents. We sacrifice for what we went through. Our children won't go through that. I thank God for the sacrifice of me and my wife. You know? Do you know my salary when I came to America? You don't want to know you're so small. But my children now, oh Jesus, they're into IT. One is into IT, and the other one is the finance. When I see how much they're getting paid, it took me a while to get there. Man, come on, parents, do you feel like that's what I said? Man, I worked so hard. It took me years to get to this point. But don't feel bad. It was because of your sacrifice. It was because of your sacrifice. You paved the way for them. So what we are going through, what we went through, they should not go through that. That's good parenting. That's good parenting. Are you hearing me? Come on, let's stand on our feet. My time is up. Glory to God. Glory to God. We will continue next week. Readiness to sacrifice. Amen. For your purpose. For what you are called. Readiness. Even I won't mention the person's name. The person is here. I told my wife, I said, whoa, that's readiness to sacrifice. This person registered to come to the event yesterday. And she was willing to give a ticket to somebody else and to volunteer. If I say what she volunteered for, you would know the person. I don't want to say. To volunteer and do something else in this ministry. She was not inside, but she was outside in the premises or in the vicinity. We didn't ask that. We didn't even know how to get. Do you know how we do that? The willingness is there. We don't have to force God. Willingness and readiness to sacrifice for what you believe. Amen. For the law. God sent us. I went to this country, uh, Zimbabwe, and God said, No, the reason, the reason why, why you are there is not only business. You know, because I want to sacrifice you to build them a church and a school. I went there for school to build them uh, actually church, but God said, mm, we also need school because the children have to walk about, about, about seven kilometers to go and come back. That's about five miles a day to go to school and come back. There's no school in that place. So they have to see them. One day we were praying. I didn't even tell Pastor Masha we were praying. God showed up. See, I see you in this village. You talking about village? Village. I go there. Amen. They know me there. I'm popular in the village and also in the city. Amen. We went there. We were praying. And God showed up to give confirmation for the assignment God wants us to do in that country. He said, in the village, God said, those people are forgotten. All the rich people, everybody stay in a very big old house. But you go there and help them. God showed her and she saw me on this dot. Red place. I said, yes, that's my assignment. And I saw children. I saw a little girl. Nailed down. Wearing uniform. And was begging you. Few days before then, the chief of the country, of the, uh, of the village community, that's what they were telling. He said, yeah, we need church. But well, let me tell you, what is urgent right now is school. Because our children are suffering. They have to walk and come back. So I said, if you walk seven kilometers, when you get to school, can you even listen and hear what the teacher is saying? Willingness to sacrifice. I went in the bush. I went there. One way. No, not five miles. Two, two ways. Two ways. Seven kilometers. 
chapter. Amen. Sometimes outreach ministry, you have to be ready to sacrifice. Amen. Amen. Not only we go to the city, we also go to the hood where they really need Jesus. The church is quiet now. A witness to them. If I ask you, let's go to Baltimore. I know a lot of you say, hey, I don't know about that, Pastor. I'll be praying for you, Pastor. No, come with me. Pray with me. Let's go together. I know some folks say, oh boy. <laughs> now you can go. I'll be praying for you. Readiness to sacrifice some goals, your purpose. You will need to sacrifice. May the Lord bless you. Come on, let's bless God for that. Let's bless God for that. Come on, let's close. Every eye is closed. Let me pray for you before I hand over. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless you for a dedicated life. Father, I also thank you for some of the members here and the leaders, some of them that are dedicated. The same that are dedicated to continue to serve God. To continue to do the work of God. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will increase their courage levels in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says they that know their God will be strong. Father, I pray that they will even cultivate more relationship with you. Move closer to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for courage. Give them courage to do the work of the ministry. Give them courage to continue to lead their family without giving up. Give them courage to continue to do their work, their assignment, their businesses in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give them courage to continue to trust God. Give them courage to stand. The Bible says, after doing all, stand in the name of Jesus Christ. So that fear must depart from them in the name of Jesus Christ. I also pray for boldness, readiness to sacrifice. Father, I give you praise and I give you glory in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, somebody bless God. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, somebody bless God. Come on, somebody bless God. Somebody bless God. Somebody say, courage. I have courage to continue. Courage to do my assignment. Father, we thank you. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We will continue next week. We're going to take somebody here that is going to heal supernaturally this day. And he says he just wants you to take it. Wherever it is, they should place their hand on it. Wherever it is. So if you are trusting God for healing, trauma, just lay your hand on the path. If it's inner healing, sometimes there's inner healing. Inner healing is the healing of soul. The rebuilding of your soul. of life and problems of life and disappointment, you know, it's in our what? Our soul. It's in our in our soul. So we feel it. Amen. Amen. Our soul has two parts. You know it? Number one? Amen. So feel it. Number two? Feel and number three? Emotion. Feel and emotion always stands up against the will of the Spirit of God. Mind and what? Emotion. All you do what? Try to influence your will. I hear what I'm saying. Emotion and influence your will. Why? To make bad decision. That's what people get taken for. Somebody need even inner healing. Few people need healing here. Lay your hand, your hands on your on your chest, and the Lord will touch you. The Lord will touch you. In the mighty name of Jesus, it was broken. Jesus paid the price for the broken hearted. The broken hearted. He paid the price for it from inside out. Lord Jesus, I ask you in the name of Jesus to touch their heart, to touch their soul, and begin to rebuild it. Let the rebuilding process start in the name of Jesus. Oh, that's an anointing here. He's touching somebody, your heart, your soul to be rebuilt. In the mighty name of Jesus, it could be pasting hearts. 
that happened years back. Somebody hurts you, but the problem is still there. So, Father, Jesus, you pay the price for him, for the broken heart. Touch their soul. Touch their soul. Rebuild their soul in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Even the those that are trusting you for healing. First of all, a bind spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus. Spirit of infirmity, I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare you improper. I declare you unlawful. And I declare you forbidden from their body. Because their body, their body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So Father, stretch your hands and begin to touch them. And begin to heal them in the name of Jesus. From the soul, from the top of your head to the soul of your feet. In the mighty name of Jesus. I see somebody back, back being healed. Somebody back is being healed. You see heat, you feel the heat in your back. Be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody's knee, who is that? The Lord is touching you. Knee, the Lord is touching your knee right now. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see stomach, stomach, who is that? Be healed, be healed, be healed in your stomach. In the mighty name of Jesus also he, relationship, healing in that relationship, in the name of Jesus, Father I thank you Father I bless you oh man, zeke, tereke, tereke, kia. Obidai 117 he said among Zion there shall be deliverance, there shall be holiness in the name of Jesus and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession every spirit of nightmare that bring bad dream that bring scary clear, clear, dream I command you to go now in the name of Jesus that dream that demon that bring disappointment oh my god disappointment you will not be disappointed in the name of Jesus I rebuke a spirit of discouragement I rebuke spirit of evidence in the name of Jesus Christ father I thank you I declare this in the name that is above every name and it is so not that it will be so, it is so in the mighty name of Jesus. I say it is so in the name of Jesus. If you believe, you shout amen. If you believe, you shout amen. It is so. It is so. It is so. Oh, financial healing. It is so. Hallelujah. It is so in the name of Jesus. Do you know Jesus also paid the price for that? Amen. He paid the price. In the book of Corinthians, the Bible says, even though he was rich. You know, Jesus was rich. He was rich. He came from a dispensation where gold is street. Street of gold. Not literally. Amen? Know what that means? Number one commodity on earth is gold. In heaven, it's nothing. It's the meaning of that. It's nothing. It's nothing. The rock. The rock. The rock. The rock. The rock. Come here. The rock. Leonard. The rock. The rock. The rock. Zion, there shall be deliverance, there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! Jesus' name. I command. Those that have trust in God for finances, urgent. Let it begin to come supernaturally. Those that have trust in God for money for their project. Who is that? Money for your project. Is it given by God? God give you that project. You know what I know? For every vision, there's a provision. God will never give a project without 
a provision. The provision is already there. The prayer will be, God, open my eyes to see. Sometimes we go in a different direction. There's a problem. There's a money there. There's a money there. Let me tell you something personally. I won't give you figure. We have a, pro- we have a project now in Zimbabwe. When it first started, up to now, we spent so much. In the beginning, it was like, where are we going to get all of this? Money? God is not giving us. Where are we going to go to all of this? But God gave it to us. Where are we going to get all of this? But God gave it to us. When we were in Dubai, there was a lady, Rebecca. We begin to talk to investors and see, you know, we need an investor to bring, you know, money and be part of the project. Right? So we can give you a percentage. Investor will not give you money for nothing. Hello? It never happened. We look and we look and we look and we look. It never happened. You know why? God don't want us to connect to any investor. He is the one. The provider. He is the gyra. So the same lady called us back. Because there's an investor now that you know in Abu Dhabi. He said, Where? Uh, what's his name? Ryan? He said, Ryan said, Oh, you have this there, this land, yeah, this much land. He said, Yes. Well, I can bring money. Big money. I can bring money. I tell them, I say, Well, if it was two years ago, we would take it. But right now, we're doing very well. God blocked it. Serious. He blocked it. We try and we try. Never happened. And when it time now, about a few weeks ago, he said, Well, we can do that. I said, two years ago, we need it, but now we don't need it. We got it. God is the provider. God did it. And God provided. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, let's bless God. We're gonna take offering now, tithe and offering. Oh, okay. Are we ready to give? Oh, do it. Amen. Come on, you blessed today. Amen. It's time to give. Way to give. Oh, I love that we we'll continue to speak. Readiness to sacrifice. Readiness to sacrifice. Ooh. Along that project, we have to sacrifice. If you need envelope, anybody need envelope? I want Osha, we give you one envelope. Envelope, envelope, envelope. Envelope, envelope. Envelope also way to give. It's a hand over there in envelope. Way to give, you can give via our website, everlastinglife.org slash give. And the last thing live with all is like gives on the screen, PayPal is on the screen, Zell is on the screen. And let's give, and as we give, the Lord bless you exceedingly, bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for those that have that project, the big money. How many have project and need a big money? And you are waiting for the big money? You're waiting? Amen. Let me give you wisdom. Stop waiting. Amen. Stop waiting. Start moving forward. Amen. I used to be there. Waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. Stop waiting. Start with the little that you have. It's faith.
when you wait, you're going to keep on waiting. That's what the enemy wants to keep on waiting. That's right. Don't just give me a scripture about the story, you will know it. 5,000 people. Jesus preached to 5,000. Men. You remember that scripture? How many remember? 5,000. He asked the disciple, what do we have? Hello? That's what he asked. What do we have? Let me ask you, what do you have? Start with the little that you have. What did they tell him? They told him what? What did they tell him? Come and talk to me, church. You know it now. We have what? Five what? Five loaves and? Five what? And two? That's all. To feed how many? 5,000 men. Is that enough? Just think about it. You say, no, no, that's too small. I'm going to wait. Those people will starve to death. But they've been with you for almost three days. Don't wait. What do you have? Ten dollar? Hundred dollar? Start with hundred dollar. You know what you don't need? He said, bring the five. And bring the two fish. I said to myself, the disciple probably said, what is this you are talking about? Sometimes, or most of the time, we focus more on our situation. Take your eyes off of the 5,000 or the big problem or, or the money you expected. Focus on the little. They say, because if, you, if God gives you everything or you get everything, God will not receive the glory. They didn't sound, they didn't get it. Didn't get it. He lifted up. What did he do? Oh my God. Those are new projects. You have money? Take the little that you have tonight, lift it up to God, and say, God, I thank you for the little that you have given to me. I'm not waiting anymore. I'm going to start with this. You know, it's the same principle help us today. In the Bible. When I look at how much we need, oh my God, I will not move forward. The little that I want, I took it. I took it. Jesus blessed it. Then what did he do? That's another revelation. Barriers. And they begin to now let me ask you when you break when did we multiply? When did they multiply? You break it when you break it, so when you broke it, the bread just came on the floor. You break it and don't multiply. Ten thousand loaves. No, they break it, they put it in the basket. As they begin to move by faith. And they find out that it never finished. You didn't understand. It never finished. And they give. That's an act of faith. It's an act of faith. Don't wait. Start with the little that you have. The widow, the little oil. Filling the what? The vessel. Where did the oil fill it? How's it going? Don't wait. Don't wait for millions to come. Start with a thousand dollars that you have. Promise I'm telling you, it works. Because you're trusting God and God is very good. Praise the Lord, 
the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can you all stand to your feet, please, and give the Lord a hand? Can you give King Jesus a hand? Glory to God. Can you give King Jesus? Y'all ain't making enough noise for me. Y'all not making enough noise. Y'all not making enough noise. Y'all still ain't making enough noise. We're taking a praise break. We're taking a praise break. I ain't hear nobody. I did not hear anybody. Let me be nice and cute. I ain't hear nobody. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. If somebody said, King, nobody. Don't be like Jesus. King, nobody. Do me like the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Of the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. What, what, did, what, what did he say? We have to be willing to sacrifice. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say nothing else. We have to be willing to sacrifice. Glory to God. When you look at your tithe, you're like, mm, mm. no, this belongs to God. Amen. When I look at my, uh, my offering, mm. no, no, mm. I'm giving this to God. When I look at the building fund, oh, uh, mm -hmm. it belongs to God. Amen. You have to be willing to do what? Sacrifice. That's all I'm going to say. The offering basket is there. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the true and living God. Anyone needs an envelope? Blessed be the name. Oh God, I thank you for the ones that I sacrifice, sacrifice the, the, the sweat of their brows. I, I thank you, Lord, my God, for the ones that is not once in a while or they don't murmur over it. But they sacrifice and give, my God, to, to the furtherance of your kingdom, to the furtherance of this church, uh, my God, in the name of Jesus, uh, to the furtherance of everything that you see, God. Uh, I thank you for those, my God, faithful ones uh, that say, oh, hallelujah, it is blessed to give than to receive. Father, I thank you. Oh, hallelujah, I ask, my God, uh, that let today, as they come up, uh, let water come out of the rock for them. Uh, as they come, glory to God, oh hallelujah, let it spring forth uh, out of my God a supernatural abundance uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and I thank you, I thank you, I thank you Lord, you said even Friday began something. Uh, Father, I thank you that it will continue today in the name of Jesus. Uh, a supernatural funding, my God, uh, oh hallelujah as they step forward by faith uh, my God, my God, and honor you with the sweat of their brows. Uh, we give your glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. I need can nobody do me like Jesus anymore. Y'all know it. Y'all can come forward can from the direction of Sister Jamil. Can nobody do me like Jesus? Can nobody do me like the Lord? Can nobody do me like Jesus? He's my friend. Oh, oh. All right, one second, one second. You know, we have a, a tradition tradition here. A lot of people give online. If you give online, just come and tap it right there. If you give, if you have given online, just come and tap it. Which y'all you, know, y'all know the routine. If you've given online, just all you gotta do, you give it online, bam, right there. Amen. Continue. Can't nobody, can't nobody. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. No! Can nobody do me like Jesus? Can nobody do me like Jesus? Can nobody do me like Jesus? Not my mother, not my father. Can nobody do me like Jesus? Not my sister, not my brother. Can nobody do me like Jesus? Nobody, 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 nobody,
nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody,